In this video, I'm going to show you how to make suckered bogwood to stick on the side of your tank. This is kind of how bogwood or driftwood comes normally. Obviously, you can't get a sucker conveniently on that. So you need to cut a square edge, either by hand, which is pretty hard, or with a chop saw or something. That should give you a nice flat surface. Obviously you're going to stick your suckers to this surface. The only other things you'll need is a small drill bit. You drill in a pilot hole in the wood for your screws. Some screws, zinc coated so they don't rust. These ones are about 35mm long. And also you need some suckers. These are about 35-40mm suckers. And we're going to be putting screw through the inside of the sucker and fixing it to here. So the first thing we need to do is, because this is quite a chunky bit of wood, reasonably heavy, I'm going to put two suckers. You need to check the two suckers are going to fit. Obviously, if you put one sucker there, that doesn't leave you any space for any more. So I'm going to put one up here and one down here. Because this is such hard wood, putting a screw straight into there really isn't an option and may actually split the wood. We're going to drill two pilot holes. like that. See how hard the wood is, it's practically caught fire. Then, with our screw fitted to the drill, we're going to screw through the sucker. Like that, taking care not to stick it in your hand. It does help if you've got quite a powerful drill for drilling the wood. And then all we do, screw this to here. like that and the second one in here taking care not to screw down too hard otherwise it'll deform this and there you go suck at bogwood to stick on a tank you can't see with ordinary bogwood you've either kind of got to stand it up if you want fish to be able to swim underneath it or lie it down, in which case muck tends to get trapped underneath here, which can cause a problem. By using the suckered bog wood, you can stick it on the side of the tank. See, not touching the bottom. Obviously this isn't a very high tank. There, it's not touching the bottom. The plex can still scrape on with it and all your other fish can get underneath. There's not going to be any muck collecting under here and it also gives it a gives the tank a little bit more of a 3d sort of effect obviously you can have them coming out of the back out of the other side as well strap plants to them pretty versatile very useful there you go lots of nice shaped bogwood stick to a tank all different heights and levels and so on make a really nice 3d effect in your tank. Obviously you use more suckers if the wood is big. The last thing you want it to do is fall off the side of your tank. And also use good suckers. These ones are silicon suckers. We actually sell them from our eBay page. The link's below. Thanks for watching.